Now at five, a man devastated over the loss of his family. Help me to pray for her. You know, please. Nothing else you can say at this point, Junior. No. Tonight, what police say was to blame for a deadly crash. Well, this crash happened just before the Thanksgiving holiday as the family was returning home from the west coast of Florida. Tonight, that man is grieving the loss of a child, his mother and grandmother, and he's talking about the accident to CBS 4's Peter Dench, who is live tonight in North Miami with the story. Peter. Well, Ruta Van, Jim Jr. Cherie was cited for careless driving after that crash that took the lives of his three loved ones in Alligator Alley. They were on their way to see relatives in Fort Myers, and FHP says that he lost control of his car. We tried to speak with them about this deadly accident. We met 36-year-old Junior Cherie as he arrived at his North Miami home. He seems to be in a state of shock after this accident Wednesday afternoon in Alligator Alley. FHP says he was driving a Toyota Sequoia when he lost control and the vehicle overturned, taking the lives of his 61-year-old mother, Marie Cherie, and his grandmother, 81-year-old Marie Durage, seen here in happier times on a cruise, and his own 8-year-old daughter, Gio Valina Cherie, who died Friday after being airlifted to Tampa General Hospital. Your daughter, oh, uh, your mother, I can't talk. Can't you know, talk. Uh, anything thinking. you can say about them, your daughter, yeah. your mother, your grandmother, Junior, anything you can say? No, no, I can't talk. His friends tell me that Cherie is guilt ridden after FHP says he caused this accident and happened on I 75, some 20 miles east of the Naples city limit. Do you remember what happened, Junior? How this happened? Don't bag you for one. You can't say. Yeah, don't bust at smileys. You can't say how this happened. You just okay, anything we can do for the family. Anything you would like to say about your daughter and your mother? Help me to pray for her. Mm -hmm. You know, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing else you can say at this point, Junior. Right? No. Okay. As Cherie goes inside his home, a family friend tells me Cherie is overwhelmed with grief. And they meant a lot to you. <laughs> yeah, like you said, she was very precious to me. Yeah, she was. Because that was the only thing I was hoping if God could have saved her life. Junior Cherie received only minor injuries in the crash. FHP says that alcohol was not a factor and everyone was wearing seatbelts. It's not known at this point how fast Cherie was going as part of the homicide investigation. But FHP says that this is another tragic reminder of the consequences of careless driving. We're live in North Miami, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you.